people around you have been telling you that the FE other disciplines is the easiest and that you should take it instead of FE civil or FE mechanical. Or maybe you have failed the FE exam before and your co-workers are advising you to switch to FE other disciplines. Should you? Is it actually the easiest? Oh yeah, everybody now. Hi, my name is Kenza and with my online courses, I've helped a lot of students just like you pass the FE exam. Now, is the FE other disciplines actually the easiest? Well, let's find out. And first, let's take a look at the specifications. So here we have the specifications for FE civil and other disciplines. And there are some topics that are in both exams, like math, ethics, engineering, economics, statics, dynamics, mechanics of materials, materials, and fluid mechanics. Now, even though they have the same topics, the number of questions changes. So a lot of these topics, when you take FE other disciplines, you get a lot more questions on them. So for example, if we take a look at dynamics, if you take FE Civil, you only get between four to six questions, whereas when you take other disciplines, you get between nine to 14, which is a lot more questions. So if you're weak in dynamics, that's something to think about. Now let's take a look at the subjects that are only covered in FE other disciplines. So we have chemistry, instrumentation and controls, safety, health and environment, electrical engineering, thermodynamics and heat transfer. Now, if we take a look at the civil, we have surveying, water resources and environmental engineering, structural, geotechnical engineering, transportation, and construction engineering. If you are a civil engineering student, it would actually make more sense to take FE civil because a lot of these topics you have already learned back in college. Whereas these topics that we mentioned in other disciplines, you probably never learned them back in school. Now, another thing we're gonna take a look at here is the passing rates for both disciplines. But before we do that, let's take a look at other disciplines and mechanical. Now, FE mechanical and FE other disciplines are actually very similar. The only thing is that FE Mechanical does not cover chemistry, safety, health, and environment, but it does cover mechanical design and analysis, which is not covered in FE other disciplines. So that's something to consider right there. Now, we also have the number of questions, which changes a little bit between the two, but where we have the major change is thermodynamics and heat transfer. So for FE other disciplines, they are combined under one topic and you get between 9 to 14. Whereas for FE Mechanical, you get 10 to 15 just for thermodynamics and 7 to 11 questions for heat transfer. So again, this is something to consider when you are deciding on which discipline to take. Now, we are going to discuss the passing rate next. And I think the passing rate is going to really give you a better idea on which discipline to take. Now let's take a look at the specifications that is published by the NCS. So here we have for FE civil, we have a passing rate of 70%, but for civil engineering students who decided to take other disciplines, the passing rate is only 40%, which is much lower than the 70%. Now this could mean two things, either the FE other disciplines is harder or the students took FE Civil, and then they decided to switch to FE other disciplines because they think it's the easiest. But the thing is, if you're not prepared to pass the FE Civil, you're not prepared to pass the FE other disciplines. You have to study either way. You have to study for the FE exam if you want to pass your FE. Now, if you're looking at the 70% and it's making you anxious, you should check our courses. 92% of our students pass the FE exam, which is a lot better than the 70% or this 40%. Now, the first 100 people that uses the coupon code in the description below gets an extra $50 off. Now, for FE Mechanical, the passing rate is 75%, but for mechanical students who decide to take FE other disciplines, the passing rate is 70%. Based on these numbers, we can't really say it's harder or easier, but there's definitely a reason why you should take FE Mechanical and not FE other disciplines, and that is the PE. 
So right now you're preparing for your FE exam, but you will also be taking the PE exam sometime in the future, right? Once you pass your FE exam. The thing is, there's no PE other disciplines. So a lot of the topics, you're gonna have to learn them to take the FE other disciplines, but you will not use them for the PE. Whereas if you decide to take FE civil, a lot of those topics will be in your PE exam. And same thing goes for FE mechanical. When you're deciding on which FE you should take, your decision should not be based on which one is the easiest, because either way you would have to study and prepare for the exam. Instead, you should pick a discipline that's closer to the PE that you'll be taking. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and have the notification turned on because next week, we're going to talk about how to make time to study for the FE exam. Also, check out this problem that I have right here for you, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.